hey guys welcome back once again in this video i will show you how to write your own implementation of ra method filter in javascript as you know filter is a very powerful javascript ra function so whenever we have to filter something from ra based on the condition the first thing will come into our mind is filter okay so right now the question is how the filter works if someone asks you to write your own implementation of filter, will you be able to do that? So writing on implementation of filter method in JavaScript is one of the popular interview question as well. Right now, let's jump here and write on implementation. First of all, I will discuss how the filter works and after that, we will write our own implementation so here i will create a array or let me call it as numbers okay and here i will pass these numbers okay now i want to filter only even number so what i have to do here const and even numbers okay and right now i can write numbers dot filter and this filter will give me a single element at a time so i can call it as a number okay and here i can divide that number by two means modulo and if the number remainder is equal to zero please return into even number okay so now let's do console log to this even numbers so now let's open terminal and here write not index dot js and here as you can see i got all the even numbers from this array so basically this filter will take a callback function as a parameter and this callback function have three argument first is the current number second argument is the index so here you can write index and third is the array itself so whatever the array we are passing we will get that array okay so something like this array so now we have to replace this one and we have to write our own implementation so let me comment this and this one as well so right now we have to write this function on array so here array dot prototype and here the function name so i will call this function as a my filter okay and it's depend on you whatever you would like to say you can call it so here function and it will take a parameter okay and that parameter is going to be a callback function so i will call it as a function okay now here curly bracket and right now let me do here console log and print this here so right now i need to call this function so for that here console dot log i have already a array so numbers dot my filter okay and now let's come back and execute this so here i got function anonymous so right now let's pass this function and call this so here as you can see i got this whole array okay and here we are receiving this undefined because we are not returning anything from here okay so now if you are trying to write here arrow function and as you know arrow function don't have access to this keyword okay so you can't access like this so that's why here i have been using this simple function so right now in this keyword we are getting this array so here first of all we have to create a empty array so here i will call it as let filtered equal to empty array okay and now i will loop through the array so for let i equal to zero and here this dot length colon i plus plus okay so now i will have access to element one by one and right now i need to filter it so you know basically the 
condition here will be getting passed so whatever the condition i will pass it will come into the function so i will call this function okay and as you know this function will have here something like this okay so here i have to pass the current element here i have to pass the index and here i have to pass array so first for the current element i can access like this and for index i and for array i will pass this here okay and now as you can see we have a condition here so once this condition got satisfied it will return me something means once the value is true i have to filter that element and keep into this filter it means i have to push inside so i can write here condition if this is true means whatever the condition i am passing if that condition is true then push that item into filtered array so filtered dot push this item okay and at last return filtered so as you know if filter doesn't uh, satisfied any condition it will return a empty array so here as you can see uh, right now let me delete this so here as you can see if this condition doesn't get satisfied which means it will return a empty array here okay and let's pass a callback function here so i will call it as a number okay and i will pass the same condition what i wrote at the top so num here modulo 2 and equal equal 0 now let's execute and here as you can see i got result 2 4 6 8 okay so now here let me write here opposite okay so the number which is not divisible by 2 i want result so here as you can see i got those results so now let's apply this method on object so for that here i will create a student object so for that const student george okay now let's get back so here student dot and right now i can call here my filter okay i i have to pass your callback function so stu and right now stu dot name equal equal to picas okay then do the console log to this so here let me do console log and let me comment this and execute this so here as you can see i got this object picas because this condition only got satisfied so now let me change here and pass here a small v and execute this so here as you can see i got this empty array because condition didn't get satisfied okay guys so in this video we have seen how to write our own implementation of array function filter in javascript you can get download link of this code in description of this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section if you like this video please do like share and subscribe see you in next video thanks for watching